Okay, this is this video is for the people who purchase our uh, two stickers uh, plus the magnets. Um, the reason why is that the we found the newer models of the K200, K250, K3, 350. Uh, some of them are 425, 475. Actually needed the extra magnet before it didn't need it, but I guess Keurig is trying to stop people from doing it. So now we enclose the magnets with our um, listing. Before we begin, uh, preheat this machine, your machine. Um, this is actually the K200, but preheat your machine, and that way it will uh, be a lot quicker for you. Uh, so when it says lift to begin, and let's say if you lift this up, and you put in a pod, any of them, and you put it down, it says oop on you, oops on you. Now, this is where you're going to have to begin to put our stickers in. And this is what I'm going to show you to do, and it's pretty easy on the side there in the pictures itself uh, there's actually a little triangle to meet at the end right here and if you look underneath I hope you can look and you can see uh, maybe there's additional light uh, maybe I can get a flashlight for you uh, to shine it so I can show you what's really underneath here you would see the first is the round hole the square hole actually a uh, a rectangle hole that's where your sticker has to be uh, because there's actually a laser eye that reads it now let's get your first sticker uh, before you begin um, we pre-fold this so you can lift it up easy all you do is just push it back and you're going to expose the, 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 the sticky tape the tape in the back just take it off just a little bit and fold it like about, I don't know, an inch or half an inch or something like that. Look like that. Now, if you notice that, that, that triangle that we fold right there, that's uh, to fit on right around there. That's where the, 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 uh, the picture that we send uh, through an email for those. So all you do is just match it right there to that crease and just press it in. Actually before you begin just clean that area in case your machine's old or whatever just clean this area right here so that way it'll be nice and clean for you. Then take the rest of this off. Now just fold right across it. That's it. Just across it. The rest of the tape push it upward. Now just smooth all this out so it'll be nice and smooth for you so I'm gonna smooth this out that and this will actually prolong it too this is for the people who hate the K clip as well the K clip it's pretty much the same principle but we designed this because we didn't want it to hit especially pod that it's really thick the lid is so thick that it actually hits it and then it actually fall off, fall off so people didn't like those so that's why we invented this one. Anyway, now you can close this. And as you can see, you got your menu now. Now you can choose all your ounces, all here, number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six. If you have the carafe, if you want the carafe, and you want to bypass that also, there is a magnet down here that you can trick it as well. Now, if you have that menu, then that means your machine is actually produced way before uh, Keurig is actually, I believe it's around March that they're starting to, to, to do this to people. Anyway, and that's where the magnet comes in. If you don't get this menu by doing this, as you can see, we got this menu because this, this is manufactured way before that. If you don't, all you have to do is put the magnet right here. And it will go one way. That's the wrong way. Just play around a little bit until it sits just like that. And voila. You got your menu right there. If you have a machine that is actually a lot older, you can actually pass bypass this carafe menu right here. If I insert it down here to a certain point, 
you see the menu has been changed. If I take it out, see how it's changed back. If I put it back in again, it changes. So you can actually use the magnet to bypass the carafe. So you can actually have your own carafe instead of the one that they gave you. Or if you don't have one, you can actually use your own pot if you want. And the magnet just, just look like that either to your left hand side. Just wiggle around and you'll be able to see to change either this side or this side right here. And if, uh, let's say if I put the side and look, it's not changing. I just move it a little bit and see how it changes. So you just have to find the right. At uh, this time, it's just standing upward, and see how it's now. It gives me the cup size to, to do. I can change it right there. How many cups I want? Two to three cups, four to five, and that's the the carafe. So that's how you bypass the carafe. Um, so if you have another magnet or something, you can do that as well. But the magnet is pretty easy. If you don't get that menu, then that, like I said, that means you got. The, the one before that, the one before, like, believe we're starting seeing March. Around in March, they're starting to change this. So all you do is just drop that in, and it should sit just like that. And all you do is just drop it in. Now you can drop anything in. Let's say if you got a pod now, you get your menu. I happen to have a few here that I want to show to you. Even this thick one right here. Okay. Even it, thick one, this shouldn't even be in here. Uh, this is actually manufactured way before that. But if you have the K-clip, it that would actually hit it and the K-clip would have fallen off. So that's why I told you a lot of people don't like the K-clip. And if you have one of these uh, right here, pretty much the same thing. Just drop it in and you got all your menu, your ounces. Uh, this one, number 2, 14, 12, 16, number 3 is 14, 12, four, 14 and 12, number 4 is 8, 6, and 4, 10, 8, 6, and 4, and you can choose strong. Number 5, it's only 4 ounces. Number 6 is 10, 6, 10, 6, and 8. So, 8, 10, and 6, that's it. But then that, once you do that, then you press this and you brew. And that's it on that one. So that's how easy to install that. Once you have it in there, just like that, just leave it. And you can brew any pot. You can even actually brew without them. So you can just choose it, uh, strong, whatever you want, and then just press the button and voila, it'll start going. Anyway, that's it on this video.